Hey, this is Darren from Ventures Green, just doing the June 2023 update here. Uh, take you around, so nothing really changed here. I do have some growth on my potato tower now, so all that green foliage coming out of the bottom are uh, potatoes sprouting, so it seems to be working. So the plan is to get that fully looking like a full-on circular green edge. And then uh, hopefully I can just crack it open and uh, hundreds of potatoes will fall out. That's the plan. We'll see what happens with that one. So that's good. Another uh, good aspect. We'll talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly here. All right, the raspberries, I talked about them in my last video, how they were kind of dying and maybe not going to survive. It looks like they're going to survive, most of them anyway, so they have some new green leaves. Tough to see in the shadows here of a tree. Uh, but you can see that most of them have green leaves on them now. And I've cut down a couple at the end that uh, weren't, didn't have green leaves and I've left one. So just trying to figure out whether it's better to cut them right down and let them grow from the bottom stock or uh, let them just try to see if they can ever produce leaves here. But hopefully I'll get some ever bearing raspberries this year. Nothing coming up yet, but I did plant chives all the way around the border of this area here. They kind of enhance the flavor as well as uh, uh, help uh, raspberries grow as well as a lot of other plants. All right, so moving on to a little bit of the ugly here. I almost can't tell the difference between the grass and the bed here. So we used a, a BCS uh, kind of walk behind tractor here. Uh, for this area, and I think that's all weeds. I planted spinach and lettuce in there, but I think it's almost all weeds coming up. There's probably a few lettuce, so I think I'm just going to pretty much hoe that down and uh, break it all up again and plant something else in there. It's probably the plan, so I did not have newspaper there. Whereas down here where we did the BCS on the end, there was newspaper, so it's kind of holding things back, but I still don't see. You see some little light green shoots there, so those would be a little bit of a lettuce coming up and maybe some spinach down there is probably what's coming up. So I might be able to salvage a little bit and get a little bit from this bed uh, because of the newspaper, so that's good. Tried a bunch of different beds, so I tried some uh, cardboard down here. Uh, so good for holding back the weeds, but obviously not good for growing as I expected. The cardboard's too thick. Looks like we might have one little uh, lettuce head coming up here, so maybe we'll get a little bit from that, but but uh, not great as expected. You typically need to put on probably four or five inches of compost, and I'm not prepared to put a hundred dollars worth of compost into a into a 50-foot bed here, so I just put on an inch of compost, and it's probably not enough to yeah, we'll allow them and then uh, these beds so well I'll tell you about that a little bit later this is a lazy bed actually so I just dug out the pathways flipped the grass over on top of the other grass it looked pretty good to start but now the weeds are starting to come in and I don't really see much of what I planted in there probably lettuce or spinach or something like that so not the best but uh, let me come back over in this area here all right, so you're checking out so all that stuff that uh, looks pretty common out there is, I think it's lamb's quarters, according to the iSeek Naturalist uh, app that I use. So I'm going to have to hack it out of here. So this one I had, uh, oh, this one I have strawberries here. So a few of them are doing okay, but these were runners from my house, and the runners are already producing strawberries at my house, so... Uh, they'll survive, I guess, potentially, but uh, a lot of them got picked out by the deer. And maybe geese walking on them, that type of thing. So might not have many strawberries. And then all of this, the taller stuff is uh, lamb's quarter, I think, that's coming up here. So I, I'll probably just dig out that bed. So as expected, new grass lands type of thing, just trying to cultivate it and that type of thing get it going it typically takes a few shots here so I'm uh, getting a lot of weeds so I do have some there's some walking onions at the end here so those are big enough to survive and then I planted a bunch of onions that you can probably see down the bed all the way down the rows so like I planted about 200 onions so most of them look like they're gonna survive 
Uh, so we'll see what happens. This bed used to be all lambs quarters and now I've dug it out. And uh, Megan gave me some uh, ground cherry. So I planted some ground cherry and nasturtiums at the end here. Uh, but mostly just transplanted them in there. So they're looking okay, but I just planted them a week ago. So we'll see how they do. Uh, but I just hacked up that bed with a, a rake, the back of a rake. Uh, this bed, I decided to just try to hand pull the lamb's quarters and the other weeds out from around the onions. You can probably just see the onions sticking up and you can see probably all the weeds in the pathways here that I pulled out. So that may be my strategy with the other ones because I've kind of interplanted. I interplanted uh, broccoli in here uh, with the onions. So typically they work well together, but obviously the broccoli might still be in there and maybe it'll come up eventually. So I'm just hoping instead of hacking it all down, um, or maybe there's carrots in here. I see some, looks like a carrots potentially coming up too here. So did some various interplantings. And these beds, these eight beds I did with this broad fork here, the big green broad fork. Uh, it's about 20 inch width on the tines there and then I did two shots so I have a 40 inch beds here trying to really have narrow pathways and uh, wide beds typically you want to do the standard is 30 inch beds uh, but I decided to go with 40 or 42 inch because I'm uh, top watering here with an impact sprinkler so I want to maximize the amount of uh, grow space I have and just have really narrow beds it's a little mini broad fork that's useful for really compacted uh, hard soil and that type of thing. I've used it for where the tractor had uh, tire tracks and things like that compacted. So works pretty well for that and some of the really hard grass uh, down there. I think I ended up using that as well. Done a little bit of broad forking. As you can see, the uh, uh, pond is now a dry bed type of thing, pretty much dry, and I don't see any geese out today. There's a few out there, but lots of goslings around too. I think they probably had about uh, 20 uh, babies here. Oh, I also see a deer over there. First time I've seen a deer here. So we'll see how my six and a half foot fence does. I've done a little shiny uh, kind of doily at the top of the um, fence line uh, to try to Try to make them aware that we do have a fence there. So let's talk about uh, these down here. So again, lots of uh, lambs quarters, but you can see. So on these four beds, I planted interplanted uh, black or uh, not, uh, but uh, bush beans in here. So that's a bush bean coming up. So every about two or three feet, I planted a bush bean. So it looks like most of those are coming up. Uh, they've beaten the. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of lettuce coming up in there. So this one I'm going to have to take out the lamb's quarters as well. And then even more over there. But it seems like uh, the bush beans are coming up pretty well. And the idea with that is that it brings takes nitrogen from the air, brings it in the soil so it actually builds soil. So my plan is to not do an entire bed of just broad beans. I'm mixing them in with... Uh, carrots and lettuce and things like that. So there is lots of companion planting and interplanting type of uh, information you can get on the websites to find out about uh, which ones are better to plant with others. But the idea with bush beans and other legumes is to uh, bring in uh, nitrogen from the air and build the soil. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So just kind of running a line of bush beans up about four of my about 80 foot beds here that I've got going here. All four of these beds have uh, bush beans up the middle on it. Then over here, um, the other farmer, Stanley, gave me uh, a few little veggie starts here that he couldn't quite get a chance to plant. So I've got some uh, broccoli and cabbage. So the first night, uh, the, the uh, geese swept in and uh, took out the cabbage there. So they really knocked it down. They left the broccoli fairly well, so they didn't take that too much, so that's okay. And now I've got it covered here, but uh, not perfectly covered. But we'll see how that works. And my, so my, as you can see, my second, my plan B on those beds with all that lamb's quarters coming up. So I'm now mulching the beds over here. And it actually seems to be doing better. There's some little hesitation about mulching with the wood chips because it, 
uh, actually draws nitrogen out of the soil, which isn't good for the plants. And it also lowers the pH on the soil. So uh, it's not always recommended, but I figured I'd try to see if I could cut down on the weeds and it seems to be working quite well. So the big uh, lettuce here is where lettuce starts. So I'm not gonna lie that I brought those from seed, but a lot of this really light green stuff that you can see is actually my lettuce coming up. Uh, so the seeds seem to be working here, coming through the uh, mulch, the, uh, I think it's fir, but I'm not exactly sure about what the wood mulch is here. That's good. And then these were tomato starts over here, big uh, indeterminate uh, tomatoes coming up here. I got about uh, 10 of them or so. So I've just kind of thrown some wires around them. I probably need another row cover here to get going on that. So it seems like these are doing better as far as cutting down the lamb's quarters. So maybe it's a good strategy, but my other strategy over here, I'm gonna hop over the beds here. Uh, so my next plan is to actually, these ones that I'm actually trying to water these now and all of these without mulch, I haven't planted into them. So the idea is that uh, I'm watering like as if I'm trying to grow something there, but actually what I'm trying to grow is the lamb's quarters to get them going. And then I'm gonna hoe it down or mix it in type of thing and then throw my compost on top and then plant into that. And lamb's quarters is annual. So I'm hoping that uh, as long as it doesn't go to seed that it won't come back again. Uh, so that's my kind of plan C here as far as uh, building the soil, building the beds and that type of thing. So I've got a lot of uh, thistle coming out way down there. So I'm kind of knocking that out a little bit, but it's going to be a thistle area no matter what. So that's all right. And then the good news on the squash here, you can start to see these little uh, double leaf ones our, uh, our uh, zucchini, sorry, uh, black beauty zucchini coming up here. So that's good. And I've got some nasturtiums at the end of each of these uh, beds here. I'll probably plant potatoes over there and see if I can get them going just like in the towers or whether I'm going to get wire worms uh, like Stanley's getting with his onions where they're taking out the onions. Uh, these Stanley gave me uh, three or four uh, squash plants to get me started here. They're kind of yellowing a little bit, but I think they might survive. And then I've planted the seeds here, the same Black Beauty uh, zucchini here. Again, that zucchini. And that's about it. So nothing really new here. That's all I wanted to talk about. That's the June update. Can't think of anything new. Otherwise, if anybody has a scythe out there, I'd like that to try to reclaim this area. And uh, we'll, and of course it's all rototilled. I think it was rototilled last time, but I'm just mulching all the beds as well there. So uh, getting better, but a little bit of good, bad, and ugly here. And we'll talk to you in uh, July. Uh, go to venturesgreen.com for all the latest. Thanks, bye-bye.